coming up on this special edition of the ZTV Sports Report. We recap the season that was for the men's basketball team. We rewind it back to the MAC tournament and the Zips run to their sixth straight championship game. And we give you the top 10 plays and performances of 2012. All that and more coming up on the ZTV Sports Report. Welcome into the ZTV studios. It's the Sports Report back with you for our men's basketball season recap. I'm Stacy Salvi alongside DJ Johnson. You know, Stacy, we are spoiled on this campus. Every season we see new faces on the basketball floor, but the results stay the same. And this season was no exception as the Zips captured their first MAC regular season title. But the ultimate goal, of course, was to get to the NCAA tournament. First up was Kent in the semifinals as the Zips looked to make it three for three against the Flashes in 2012. The Zips come in looking for the season sweep of the Flashes, but this one clearly the most important of the three. Right from the tip, it was an offensive dominated first half as both teams shot over 55% from the floor. Nick Sintinovich led all scores in the first 20 minutes with 12 points, but Randall Holton KSU would keep it tight early as he would get the end one here and 21 on the night. Nick Carney would also have a big first half. Crafty move here as his eight points helped the Zips to a 41-36 halftime lead. After a 6-0 run to start the half, giving the Flashes a one-point lead, the Zips answered back with three straight three balls and a 14-0 run to take a 55-42 lead. The Zips kept it rolling as Sintinovich hit his only bucket of the second half with the corner three here, but Kent would pull the deficit within six as the clock ticked under four minutes to play. Justin Green working for two of his 20 on the night, but with two minutes to play, holding that six-point lead, Alex Abreu would hit the biggest tray ball of the night as the Zips advance to the final with clutch free throws down the stretch. With the win, Keith Dambrot's squad advanced to the MAC final for a remarkable sixth straight season. Waiting in the wings were the Ohio Bobcats as it became a rematch of the 2010 championship game. After a back and forth first half as Akron took a 29-28 lead into the break, the second half became another classic chapter in the MAC championship game. Evo Baltic and the Bobcats built a five point lead midway through the half the Zips wouldn't go away with five straight points from Alex Abreu. The sophomore finished with 19 points on 5 of 5 shooting. Flip it to the Bobcats point guard and this three that somehow found the bottom gave OU a 7 point lead with 4 to go. Quincy Diggs would answer, followed by a Zeke Marshall layup and it's a 62-61 ball game. 119 to go, Cooper fails to make it a 3 point game as he'd hit back rim here, but an offensive foul kept OU's 1 point lead as the clock ticked under a minute to play. The Zips would get another shot after forcing the turnover, but Brian Walsh's 12-footer with nine seconds to go went down and out as Ohio's Reggie Keeley hit both of his free throws, giving OU the three-point lead. Looking to preserve that lead, they send Abreu to the line, who sank the first and attempted to miss the second, but after review, it was reversed from a tip-in to a made free throw, and the Bobcats take the one-point win and the MAC championship. After the nail-biting loss, Keith Dambrot, Alex Abreu, and Nick Sintenovich gave their thoughts on the game. We were a little bit careless with the ball, but other than that, I thought we played much better than when we took our 25-point butt-whipping at uh, OU 10 days ago or whatever. Well, if it's an unreviewable play and they reviewed it, then they messed it up. I, I, I didn't think the ball was tipped in, so I'm not really going to complain about it. It is what it is, really. You know, I, I think... In my view, the ball wasn't tipped in, so if it's unreviewable, it's unreviewable. At least they got it right, though. That's the way the ball bounced today. It's simple as that. It was a great ride. I mean, it sucks to end up this way, but at the end of the day, you know, you look back and you had a tremendous four years. You have so much success. At the end of the day, someone lose, someone wins. Then go my way this way, but it's all right. Heads up, life goes on. Keep up to date with all Zips athletics in season and in the off season with updates on our Twitter page. Now the season wasn't finished after a loss to Ohio as the regular season championship earned Akron a berth in the NIT. The Zips got a five seed in the tournament as they traveled to take on the fourth seed Northwestern. UA hung in with the Wildcats after trailing by as many as 15 in the first half. A second half run gave the Zips a lead with four minutes to go in the game, but a late three by the Wildcats put them ahead 76-73. Trailing 76-74, a three-point attempt at the buzzer by Alex Abreu fell short as the Zip season ended in dramatic fashion. Now we know that no team wants to end their year with a loss, but the 2011-2012 season was nothing short of a success for the team. And how about next year as Coach Dambrot will return a loaded squad of experienced players looking to be one of the 68 teams in the NCAA tournament. 
For more on that, we give way to David and Dee. Thanks, guys, and the Zips will lose Nick Satanovich, Brett McClanahan, and Kyle Peterson to graduation, but a return roster full of guys that produced well in 2011 and 2012. Looking back at what those players did this season, it looks like we have a bright future, D. Well, there's no doubt about that, Coy. Four starters and seven major contributors will be returning next season for another go at that MAC championship. Chauncey Gilliam, Zeke Marshall, Brian Walsh, and Alex Abreu were all part of the starting five in 2012 and will be coming back in the fall. Also, Quincy Diggs, Nick Harney, and Demetrius Treadwell played a huge role off the bench for Coach Dan Bryant, and they will be returning in the fall as well. The recruiting class also looks promising for this program, as the Zips will look to replace the three senior roster spots, mixing experience with players like Josh Egner and Blake Justice, and then adding a strong recruiting class on top of that, the Zips absolutely have the potential to go above the 22 win mark. Well, Coy, I know it's way too early to make any predictions, but I can say I'm ready and raring to go for next season. Well, now all you can hope for is a good offseason, but there's plenty more to get to what the season it was, including top plays and performances of the year, coming up after the break. But beforehand, let's see if you know the answer to this Zips trivia question. What sport did Keith Dan Brown play here at the University of Akron as a student? Your answer and much more coming up after the break. 